race reporter told us that. So he's not worried about running that second lane. It's getting more rubbered up. It's getting more grip up there. And if I was him, I'd be up there too, trying to feel that baby out, see if I can get some more speed. And we've got another yellow as in turns three and four. Another crash. The 28 goes into the wall. That's Robert Richardson. And he has, uh, shall we say, checked out of this one. Well, that's the second car this week. Yeah, he's either driving the back of me or just sitting there off me. I don't know. Well, he says he may have gotten some help or it could have been the old arrow push. Yeah, I hate that for that team. That's uh, when you take two cars and destroy them. Put him in the truck, Marty, and go home. It's not yeah. a good day. Yeah, it's been a rough day for the, that team. Uh, the, the other guy who it's rough for is Brad Coleman because he had a half a second lead. He was extending lap after lap. And, yeah, this, there was nobody around him. He didn't get any push. Well, Brad Coleman, if he can get the tires cleaned off and get a good restart without Wimmer getting underneath him... Let's uh, show you what happened if you weren't with us earlier today during qualifying. Is uh, this is what happened again in turn four? Car stepped out on him and uh, it just went around and he crunched the front end. They brought out the backup car and now he's crunched up the back end. <laughs> 